what up traders, what up investors, Ken here from Dyslexia Investor. I'm a little bit higher up. I'm currently on, I have my standing desk fully uh, standing up or fully elevated. Anyways, that being said, uh, we got some great stuff coming out today. This is video one of potentially two or three that I'm gonna be putting out uh, in the next couple hours here. We're gonna be looking at PLTR. Of course, PLTR has been uh, one of those stocks that people have just continuously, continuously have talked about endlessly uh, for, I don't know. Again, Wall Street bets have talked about this substantially a lot. So looking at uh, what uh, PLTR uh, uh, day could be coming forth. Again, I'm getting a lot of alerts. Again, this is actively trading hours. Um, with that being said, we are looking at PLTR, their demo day coming out the 26th, uh, at the basically the end of this month, uh, which is again, let me just do that quick math here. That's basically a week from today. So could this be a driver for the stock to go up? Could this be a little flop? Could this just be a little bump in the road? Could this just be nothing? Like that's what we're going to be looking at uh, today. So without further ado, we're going to be jumping into that in just one second. Before we do that, I want to talk about two affiliate links down below. We have one for the Amazon books. If you're interested on looking at some trading books, uh, use the affiliate link down below for the Amazon storefront. Second is going to be looking at Tastyworks. Tastyworks is the trading account that I use for trading options, stocks, futures, and hopefully crypto soon. Talking to you, Tastyworks uh, dev team. Keep up the great work. Uh, and as well, um, Costco, if you're listening, please, uh, I would love to be a sponsor uh, for you guys. Uh, I love drinking your products. I use your, go to Costco all the time. I've been a member for a decade, probably. Uh, just, uh, yeah. So anyways, that was my plea for Costco, the number one sales pitch here. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and just dive into this uh, fun show here. So PLTR. So what is a demo day? for PLTR. Basically, it's just going to be a, I don't like to use the word dog and pony show, but it's just going to be a showing and talking about all their different various segments, uh, all their very different products within that segment, talking about new updates, talking about potentially showing some uh, case studies, uh, potentially showing some actual clients on how their new uh, data sensitivity environments can help anything from terrorism to all the way down the road for uh, identifying some key uh, metrics or data within your industry. Um, again, PLTR kind of has been had this little black veil on it being like a little bit of secret secret kind of the uh, the uh, the wizard behind the uh, curtain there um, with that being said uh, really looking at th this could be a catalyst for the stock to run up um, we're going to be diving into looking at the chart uh, looking at that to potentially see uh, uh, any kind of uh, overhead resistance any support and any anything within that region of that um, and at the same time, looking at some some of the uh, options tree to see if there's any kind of interesting call buying, put buying, and different forms of that, looking at some open interest tabs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Tastyworks first. Of course, Tastyworks, the affiliate link down below. If you open up an account of 2K or more, you have uh, the opportunity to have 10 options or 100 shares in that account if you open up that brand new account again. So definitely check that out if you want to help support the channel. Um, with that, again, looking at PLTR here, looking at the Tastyworks platform here, um, you can see earnings is coming up the 11th. Of course, we talked about um, the 26th being the lead uh, or the uh, the day, which is a Tuesday or a week from today, I'm talking about PLTR uh, um, having that special day. As you can see, there has been a lot of activity here. Like there is the $27 uh, call has seen nearly 5,000 transactions um, of volume. Again, starting of the day had nearly 5,000 just open interest. So we are seeing literally more than the open interest at the beginning of the day of, of seeing that run up. You can see here on the price chart as well, we're seeing, again, you see that volume in the back here has really driven up here over the past uh, uh, couple days here. Um, and once we kind of flip to the chart to kind of keep keep mind of this 27, the 28, and 24 uh, dollar price targets to see on how things uh, kind of move around that range. Um, so looking at that level again, this is a weekly chain uh, and we're seeing so much options activity here. It's a little rich, um, a lo lot of premium in these. Um, so it could be potentially ripe for selling uh, all these other various components around that. 
Again, and then we kind of switch over to the put side. You're seeing a lot of volume coming in around 25. So be mindful about that as well. So once we switch over to the chart, um, looking a little bit longer term, aka into February options, the monthly options, you're seeing the, the half price options have just opened up today as well. But you're seeing a lot of open interest uh, around the 27 again. 27 is really, really a key indicator here. Um, if I can say 27, 27, 27, just keep in mind on that. And of course, 25 to 27 is those key levels that we want to look at. Um, with that being said, let's flip over to Think or Swim. Again, the, the charting platform that we talked about before. Um, with that, uh, the $27 price target, which we talking about it falls in right about here this has kind of been some some overhead pressure between 27 and 28 dollars which pltr has not been able to kind of get above you see here ever since it's really remarkableless remarkableless magnificent run from the help from the the boys and girls from wall street bets uh really boosting this higher hitting that high of 33 dollars 50 cents and it really didn't come crashing down and actually held the trend very well instead of just potentially what i think a lot of folks even with citron going out and just giving it a big old uh fat thumbs down um it, it's been holding up very well here and it's been kind of trading sideways between that 28 and 24 dollar level so going back to that 27 and 25 that has been some support especially the 25 dollar level as we kind of highlight here on the line right here it has literally uh not hey, hey i'm sorry hate to use the word literally but it's been holding this line fairly decently um, with again that fibonacci number is really coming in around 24 to 25 to be that initial uh, short-term support um, with that being said we are seeing the momentum switch from red to yellow here on the squeeze um, and the rsi and volume zone oscillator are both starting to uh, move higher again the only thing the only case study that we're looking at here is again 27 to 28 dollars again those are the numbers that we saw a lot of open interest on the call side and at the same side and this uh, with a lot of open interest and a lot of volume coming into those particular calls even the ones going out to next week's and the february options expiration so if we do get a push higher again those purple dots those are the parabolic ser dots those are kind of uh somewhat of, of helping us to show the potential trend here as, as you can see the it has not the the candles have not been able to break above it which is uh and it's looking at the movement if it has the potential to break higher above it so if the the chart or the the candles break above this range of basically 28 to 27 dollars um, those dots will go to the bottom so once those dots go to the bottom of this chart it now now instead of being resistance it comes support so it's uh, between those and the fibonacci numbers and the moving averages it can it can tell a potential a pretty nice trend of where we could be going or what we could be seeing for support or overhead resistance some large option strength that we saw coming out, really not much of anything. Um, there was a large February 2021 $27 call. Again, this is the play that we talked about in the beginning of thing, a 2.8 million dollar uh bet here again we don't know if they're selling this uh, or they're buying it um are they covering their position are they creating a hedge or are they just whatever but it's a fairly large uh investment without a doubt with pltr here initially looking for some breakout as you can see here i have my breakout basically right at that fibonacci number at 78.6 and i'm actually going to put one here right below 25 around uh, 24.80 to kind of see if we kind of break in here because again this has been somewhat of a tight movement again due to a lot of uh again I'm not saying weak hands or people just kind of get sick of it. I think it's just kind of been somewhat forgotten because again, Citron put that report out in December. I know December seems so far long ago, um, but I think PLTR does have a chance if it stays above 24, even 2450, to potentially have a nice earnings run. Again, looking back at the earnings run, we're gonna be looking at that price target around February 11th. Um, most people, looks like a lot of people are playing already some folks are a lot of open interest going out at the $30 call going there. It's a little bit uh, not my favorite cup of tea. I want to give myself a little bit more time. And this is pretty far out as well, because again, um, that theta is nearly $5. Um, the delta is only 40. So um, your probability is going to be uh, you really are you're really expecting a large move higher with this one. Uh, if you're buying these calls or you're really just kind of uh, making a Wall Street bets, you know, YOLO play on that. 
So uh, hopefully this was educational. You learned something. I uh, really do appreciate you coming out and watching the video until this level. Um, if you, again, look at those affiliate links down below. Oh, shoot. Yeah, join the Discord as well. We have a Discord uh, completely free fun stuff. We talk about all kinds of things. We talked about pardon, uh, uh, pardons that Trump's giving out. Uh, long story short, I haven't shared it yet, but I, I'm kind of hesitant to. Uh, someone I know uh, that I used to work with got pardoned by Trump way back when, um, about a year or so ago, but that's interesting as well. Um, anyways, with that being said, uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out, um, and, and, and hopefully we'll see you on the next video, and we'll potentially try to do a live stream potentially on Wednesday, um, so stay tuned for that, keep your notifications on, and join the Discord for any kind of updates regarding that. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Again, this is Ken from the Dyslexia Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.